Though undoubtedly a science fantasy experience, the Metal Gear Solid series perhaps runs a bit too parallel to our contemporary society to be an obvious source of inspiration for Numenera. Not a chance. This is the real world, not some fantasy game. But after a recent playthrough of this classic PlayStation title, I was reminded of the game's unique take on a standard rule of threes for a section that requires the player to gather a set of keys before the final showdown with Metal Gear Rex. It's a great example of taking real scientific concepts and using them in an unexpected way to surprise and engage players, and is perfect to mine for inspiration for a Numenera adventure. This video will take a look at how Metal Gear Solid uses its famous PAL keys section to come up with some great ideas for Numenera adventure beats. As such, this video is probably most appropriate to GMs, and it does contain spoilers for a nearly 24-year-old video game. If you haven't played it, I can only highly recommend it for its own value, but you don't need any knowledge of Metal Gear's often dense and winding narrative to get the most out of the concepts featured in this video. And don't forget to stick around till the end for this video's viewer question. Toward the end of Metal Gear Solid, Snake must, as he believes, deactivate the hellacious nuclear threat that is Metal Gear Rex by means of using three card keys referred to as PAL keys. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. The player's expectation is toyed with early on as they're given what appears to be a singular item from an important NPC, but it's later on, in the moments just before their intended use, that Otacon discovers the secret of the PAL key. But it takes three keys, right? I've only got one of them. Hold on a minute. You see, that's the trick. You already have all three keys. What are you talking about? The card key is made of a shape memory alloy. Shape memory alloy? Yes! It's a material that changes shape at different temperatures. The key is made out of it. This card key? Yeah! The card key changes shape at different temperatures. So this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. Made out of a shape memory alloy, a very real material, the player must revisit different areas of the map in order to change the shape of the key based on the ambient temperature of the environment. What appeared to be one key is in fact three keys by the magic of the game's science fiction. What simply could have been a standard three-item fetch quest for the player turns into a unique twist that combines the themes of secrecy and espionage while still technically being a three-item fetch quest. Given that the entire experience of the game is about cool gadgets and mysterious scientific phenomena as well as the threat of nuclear war, the shape memory alloy nature of the PAL key establishes equity between the game's themes and the actual playable material, revealed through the efforts of characters racing against the clock. Toying with player expectation and perception, as Metal Gear Solid does with the nature of the PAL key, only revealed through a unique process, is a great way to add layers to what are often very standard game concepts. You could, in fact, just borrow the PAL key concept for your own Numenera game. Say your players are delving into an ancient Ninth World ruin that requires a set of three keys or objects to gain entry. Have them believe that they only have one such key, only to be surprised when they learn, via a successful understanding Numenera task, a revelation from an NPC, or some other way that's interesting, that this key requires alteration in three different states to move through each lock. Toss in some standard Ninth World weird by rolling on the tables found in Injecting the Weird, or involve Iotum from Numenera Destiny, or borrow liberally from the technological concepts listed in Numenera Discoveries Chapter 22, and you've fleshed out what would otherwise be a standard gaming concept. Though, a clever nano with the hedge magic esoteric could probably pull this temperature trick off rather quickly, which of course would be a rewarding use of what is sometimes an esoteric that gets used for jokes. One of the common musings about a Hideo Kojima game is that it tends to mirror dives into a Wikipedia page. Snake, you're now passing through a salt pan. Groundwater saturated in halite springs to the surface, then basks in the sunlight to produce salt. Deep red earth encrusted with sparkling white salt. It's quite a sight. But the nature of the PAL key demonstrates how this can work to your advantage, particularly for a science fantasy game that often is based on the magic of physical objects and interesting scientific phenomena. 
The next time you find yourself on a random Wikipedia page for something like Shape Memory Alloy, consider the ways you could adapt this concept to your Numenera game. Science fantasy can operate with the same mystical nature as a magic system in a fantasy game, but its strengths rely in a celebration of the very real, wondrous physical world around us. The PAL key itself is not the only point of inspiration here. The way in which the player must change the key's shape and what happens as they do it is also really important to sell this experience. Metal Gear Solid requires the player to backtrack through different environments, engaging in the game's main features of sneaking, using equipment, and even combat along the way. But it does more. During this backtrack sequence, the player receives more narrative development through the use of its codec calls. While Metal Gear Solid's lengthy narrative moments aren't for everyone, here they work to reveal more layers of the mysteries of different characters while the player travels through the Shadow Moses complex to freeze and heat up the PAL keys. Again, what could have been just a series of running back through previously visited corridors turns into added layers of gameplay and narrative. It's a masterclass in taking the standard get the object concept and expanding it to feel real and memorable. So while a clever nano could alter a PAL key equivalent in your Numenera game with a fancy esoteric or a right could come up with an ingenious creative solution by inventing an object or tinkering with the key item, having the players visit different areas is an opportunity to engage in other skill challenges, combat, and narrative development. While the PAL key scenario of Metal Gear Solid shows how you can use scientific concepts to play with player expectation and provide unique twists on common game mechanics, it also shows how you can make use of travel to provide unique challenges and story development. But it does more than this. While Metal Gear Solid itself is a single-player experience, the nature of the game's NPCs and the ways they aid Snake's mission very closely parallel the dynamic of a party in an RPG. Without Otacon's uber-hacking abilities behind the scenes, Snake would have been left to believe that he needed three separate PAL keys to stop Metal Gear. And indeed, the game could have turned out this way. But by taking a scenario of needing a key to progress further and asking how the setting of Metal Gear, its genre, and its themes could put a unique twist on this part of the game, we end up with a memorable and unique moment. Snake learns the nature of the shape memory alloy based PAL key in the same way that a player could rely on another character's skill to build a device to hack into the data sphere to learn the secrets of a key game item, just as Otacon hacks into President Baker's secret files to learn how the PAL key functions. Otacon and Snake complement each other in the same way that many RPG characters do by covering various strengths and weaknesses. Consider this dynamic when revealing something like the hidden nature of an item. Otacon and Snake, in many ways, are the perfect Jack and Glaive combo. As mentioned in the beginning of the video, Metal Gear Solid, despite some truly fantastical moments, is a bit more grounded typically than the Ninth World as a setting is. If you do use the concept of a single key item that has secret alternate functions, Numenera only offers the possibility of moving far beyond a shape memory alloy that responds to ambient temperature. Perhaps your Ninth World PAL key requires visiting different dimensions to trigger different quantum states. Maybe a device that manipulates time must be built and used to alter the nature of an object based based on when it was rather than where it was. A key item could have a level of sentience requiring it to be in different emotional states to be used for different functions. Or perhaps a microscopic civilization lives inside of a key item, and its use requires the players to miniaturize themselves to enter this world to achieve the desired results. Maybe orbiting satellites project beams of energy that must be triangulated in order to alter the key item. The Ninth World has no limits in this way, and no matter what the narrative essence of what you do with this concept is, the very idea of placing a twist on a key item, just like Metal Gear Solid does with the PAL key, is a great way to flesh out a narrative skeleton that just lists a party moving from point A to point B. Having something like a single key item that becomes three different keys based on temperature can offer a bit of flair to a standard moment. Having this key send the players on a quest to alter its state by means of traversing a universe of the infinite weird can inject hours of story and game content in what would otherwise require the players to just move through a door. You could use the Cypher System's difficulty task system to turn this into a very gamified concept, but as Metal Gear Solid demonstrates, the narrative nature of something like the PAL key requires no mechanical crunch to sell itself. It simply requires some narrative and for us to think a little bit outside of the old cardboard box. Metal Gear Solid is often focused on very different themes than Numenera, but the way in which it uses its science fiction is certainly worth borrowing from for a science fantasy role-playing experience of the kind found in the Ninth World, and the shape-shifting nature of the PAL key is one such example. If we take anything from Metal Gear Solid and Hideo Kojima's storied career as a game designer, 
designer, it's to subvert your player's expectations and toy with first impressions of characters and key items. But for this week's question, I'm curious, what's an unexpected source of inspiration you've drawn from when designing for or playing in a role-playing game? If you found this video interesting, please consider subscribing to The Infinite Construct for more Numenera, Cypher System, and science fantasy gaming content.